everybody, Dr. Schultz with the Centeno Schultz Clinic with another weekly update. We're continuing our series on the thoracic spine and today we're going to be answering the question, what are the five most important functions of the thoracic spine muscles? So thanks for checking in and let's get started. The goals of this short presentation are, once again, to identify what in the world is the thoracic spine, what are the four major groups of muscles in the thoracic spine, and what are the five major functions of the thoracic spine muscles? So as you recall, the thoracic spine is that section of the spine that is below the neck and above the low back. Sometimes it's referred to as the mid back and it's depicted here in this picture. It's this section right here. So the thoracic spine is broken into four major groups of muscles. And if you peel them away like an onion, there's different layers. And this, the, the one closest to the skin is called the superficial. Then the next layer is the intermediate. And then of course there's the deep layer that's adjacent the bones. And then there's this odd group called the intercostals. So we're gonna be starting from the deep and getting superficial. So the deepest group is called the erector spinae group. And it's composed of three very thin uh, strips of muscle, and those are called the uh, iliocostalis, the longismus, and the spinalis. And they're right here. You can see them, they lay right next to each other. And their really important function is they allow us to bend backwards. That's right, extension. Now, the next group is the intermediate group, and that's composed of two brothers. They're serratus posterior superior and they're serratus posterior inferior. And they're depicted here. The superior, as it's denoted or named, is in the superior portion of the thoracic spine, whereas the inferior is in the lower. The superior actually elevates the ribs and helps with inspiration, whereas the serratus posterior inferior is located at the lower thoracic and lumbar spine and it pulls the ribs down aiding in pushing the air out otherwise known as expiration and then there's the superficial group and there are three three really important muscles first and foremost there's that handsome uh, trapezius it's a trapezoid shaped muscle it originates as you can see at the base of the skull up here and then it inserts in many different places. It inserts in, uh, onto the clavicle, the acromion, and the scapula. And it functions to rotate, elevate, and depress the scapula. Really important functions. The second group, I mean the second muscle in the superficial group, is the levator scapula. And unlike the, the trapezius, this is a rather thin muscle, but also a very important one. It originates also in the upper spine, and it inserts on the scapula, the medial border, and it elevates the scapula. So it also has a really important role. And then there are the two rhomboid brothers. As you can see, they originate from the spine and they, they attach to the scapula. There's a major, like an older brother, and then there's a minor, like a little brother. And its goal is to retract and rotate the scapula. And then finally, there's this oddball, but very, very important group of muscles called the intercostalis muscles. And of course, there's a bunch of them. There's the external and the internal. The external ones are the ones on the outside, and they're depicted here. They have a diagonal orientation, and they actually lift the ribs up and outward, and they facilitate inspiration. And like, uh, the brothers, this is diametrically opposite and it's diagonal and it goes in the other direction and it actually pulls the ribs down and forces air out. So what are the five most important functions of the thoracic spine muscles? Number one is posture. Our normal tendency of the upper uh, torso is to fall forward and that's only exacerbated by excessive screen time, uh, time on the phone and things that we are doing. Now what can counteract that are all those beautiful muscles. That's right, the thoracic, the thoracic spine muscles, the deep, the intermediate, and the superficial all help us stand, stall, stand, stand tall and 
It prevents us from becoming kyphotic, as you can see here. You know that person in the grocery store that kind of bends over and can't actually stand up? That's kyphosis. The second role of the thoracic spine muscles is spinal stability. It actually protects the thoracic spine and the thoracic spinal cord. It also limits the amount of motion the thoracic spine can go to. And so it is key in providing thoracic spine stability. The third important function of the thoracic spine muscles are breathing. The external uh, intercostal muscles pull the ribs up and in doing so aid inspiration. The internal intercostals depress the uh, ribs and they push air out, helping us with exhalation. And then there's the uh, serratus posterior, superior and inferior, which also help us breathe. The fourth function is shoulder stabilization. And the shoulder is such a remarkable joint with an amazing range of motion, and it's got to be stabilized by a series of muscles, and those muscles are in part come from the thoracic spine. And then finally, all those wonderful overhead activities that we enjoy, volleyball, swimming, tennis, even reaching for something in our kitchen um, or our garage. You've got to have strong thoracic muscles. So I hope this was helpful. We reviewed the three, four major groups of the thoracic spine muscles and their very important roles. Now, if you are having problems or a loved one is having problems with ongoing weakness or thoracic pain that has yet to be treated effectively, consider the Centennial Schultz Clinic here in Broomfield, Colorado. We are experts in the evaluation and treatment of thoracic spine injuries. Here, we are board certified fellowship trained physicians, and you can either have an in-house office a consultation or one from telemedicine where we will spend time reviewing your past medical history, your current symptoms, and current uh, imaging to tell you whether or not you or a loved one may be a candidate for regenerative options. Thank you so much for checking in. I'll see you next week.